Carl. He's the CEO and CTO at Ingate. Carl, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you very much. I'm glad to be here. So I know that your company is in the SIP trucking space. Tell me a little bit about its history. Okay. We're actually two companies that have emerged last fall, Ingate and Intertex, and we're in the same space. Uh, actually, we didn't start up of SIM trunking specifically. We were enabler of real-time communication of all forms, but it ended up with SIP trunking, which is connecting PBXs to more or less the old POTS service or telephony service, which uses IP these days. So uh, that's where we are when we have our own business, but uh, we're pushing very hard that we will get to real, real-time communications far beyond the old telephony service, which is really something that um, has been the same more or less since the 50 years, and it has a quality of pre-radio AM quality. <laughs> it has to happen that we get real-time communication. So you've been mentioning real-time communications. One of the big topics here that we've been discussing, we've been talking about a lot at our shows and events, is WebRTC. What do you feel the role is of WebRTC in the future? Yeah, I think it will have a big impact. It will actually push, finally, that we get beyond the plain old telephone system, the POT system. It, it will have two impacts because it potentially brings the quality up to telepresence and supposed to be available in everyone's pocket and everyone's device if the network can cope with it. It has that potential and it will also make us leave the telephone network, the specific telephone network for doing it over the internet, the dumb network. But that has some challenges, but uh, WebRTC is only on the internet while telephony has been more or less on a specific network, even when it's voice over IP, which has locked it up to the old service. You mentioned some of the challenges earlier, and I, you were talking, you and I were talking about the role of infrastructure. What role does infrastructure play here in these WebRTC world? Yes, uh, when we see that real-time communication is moving over from the old telephone network into the internet, we really see that internet also needs to get a quality mechanism that isn't there today, but pretty easy to enable. But it will, it will require that more intelligence in the actual delivery points of internet than we have today. And that's one of the main things that Intertex and Ingate has been working on all its life, but <laughs> all its history. But at that time, it was using the SIP protocol, which has the capabilities of full multimedia directly over the internet. But uh, it more happened that it was used for replicating the old telephony system. Uh, WebRTC actually enforces this move over, and we're also doing things that will integrate WebRTC with, uh, first of all, with, with a PBX infrastructure inside the, the enterprises, inside the businesses, uh, because WebRTC otherwise uh, actually bypasses more or less of that. It's browser-to-browser -browser communication, and where did the infrastructure go that we are built with the unified communication or the PBX solutions uh, that we have today, or the link or whatever? Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time. I know that you have a big presence here at IT Expo, but people who weren't able to attend, where can they find you online? Oh, they find us on um, ingate.com, of course, on our website but um, they, they rather welcome to our SIP trunking seminar, which has quite a few sessions around WebRTC and the impact it will have on, 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 uh, the, PB, on the enterprise infrastructure that so far hasn't been much discussed, but we will see here at the conference. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much.